Hey everyone, it's Jess, your host for Mondays on the Beaver Bunch. And this week we're talking about sexual liberty at LGBTQ events. And the person who wrote in has a bunch of questions uh, that we're going to try to answer. Um, I don't know that I'm going to be able to get to every single question, and I don't know that I'm going to be able to elaborate or um, discuss everything that you guys might hope that I'm going to discuss, but just know that I'm thinking about it and perhaps some of the, one of the other beavers will, will address the rest of it because there's a lot going on in this topic. This person wrote in and they had questions about why why there is such the need for sexual liberty at LGBTQ events. And you know what you know what they're talking about. I know I know what they're talking about. Um, I can't tell you, I mean every single pride event or you know anything arrest surrounding it, I've seen naked people, I've seen uh, you know people making out. It's just sort of I feel like I've sort of acclimated to that part of our community, sex. You know, it's everywhere. But it's not just in the LGBT community. It definitely is everywhere in our society. But I was trying I was thinking about it and I was trying to figure out well, why is sex associated very explicitly within the LGBTQ community? And I mean it's sort of easy to figure out, you know, we've been so um oppressed sexually oppressed for so many years, so many decades, when people started to come out and, you know, we started to have these parades that were just for us, um, they felt a lot more comfortable being themselves and, uh, you know, fortunately or perhaps unfortunately, depending on how you look at it, they, they used these events to maybe... I don't want to say sexually exploit, but that's what I'm going to say for right now. Basically, they were just being free with their sex, sexuality, their orientation, everything. And they felt comfortable going to events like this. And it's just sort of trickled down, you know, throughout the years. And that's why sometimes you'll see some naked people at these events. Some people are not quite as comfortable as others are with sex in general, and so this person who wrote in wanted to know, is it common for people to feel uncomfortable? Yes, yes, it definitely is common. Um, I think that over the years I've realized that it's, I've realized that it's going to happen at these events, and so I just sort of expect it. Um, if someone is comfortable enough in their own skin to, to to be like that, to be naked, to be expressive in that way, then, you know. But there's also, there's also the other side to this situation, which is, um, I feel like our generation is now trying to pull away from this sex-identified community, you know. We're not, we're not sex. We're not all about sex. It's definitely something that I feel like we need to overcome. Um, and if you guys, I talked to Mary about this a little bit, so some of this I, I took from our conversation and, and what she had suggested, but have you guys ever heard of, like, um, affection orientation instead of, you know, sexual orientation? Um, I sort of like that, you know? I, I like to picture people holding hands, not, like, I don't know, going at it in a bathroom stall or something. Um, not that that's what I think about, but... Who knows? Um, I think it's important for us to to take the you know take sex out of everything that we do, and also when we're talking about marriage, instead of saying same sex marriage, we've also changed it to marriage equality. I think that you guys sort of get the gist. I hope that I was able to provide some answers for some of you, and I. I hope that the rest of the beavers can you know, fill in the gaps. Before I go, check the description because I'm going to put a link up to a video for our friend Chazzy's brain cancer walk that we did on Saturday morning. You guys are awesome. We've been getting so many letters and donations and anything. If you guys don't have anything to donate, you can just send a letter, anything like that, and, and it's going right to, to Carissa. So. 
Um, thank you so much for all of your help. We, we really appreciate the positive thoughts. Um, she's doing great. We're super proud of her, and uh, that's it. Thank you. You guys are wonderful, and I hope you have a really great week, and I'll talk to you guys next Monday. Bye, guys.